how interest rate hikes are going to impact the real estate market. Stay tuned to find out. Good day, Toronto. Welcome to another episode of Prime Property. So guys, you're joining me here today. In 2022, in case you missed it, there is a lot of talks about interest rates. They're coming. I can promise you that. Now, I've already talked uh, about this in length with my mortgage broker, Brady, about why you shouldn't worry too much. And, you know, there's different strategies you can do to mitigate the interest rate hike increase on your um, mortgage specifically. And in case you missed that, video is up here. Now, you can check it out. But what I want to talk to you about in today's episode is the impact of interest rate on the actual real estate market. I'm going to give you the psychological effect for most buyers and also sellers and also the math behind it, right? So first off, the psychological effect, and I've seen this so many times in my career, and the psychological effect kind of it's on and off for buyers depending on who you are, right? But effectively for the unsophisticated one, it just injects fear into them. Meaning a lot of buyers, specifically um, unseasoned, unsophisticated investors will get spooked up by, you know, interest rate hike without, you know, kind of doing the math, right? But seriously, that it would be actually great for the market because there's way too many speculators right now. But if you really kind of do the math really quickly, a 0.25% increase, increase in interest rate or 25 bips is going to increase your mortgage $12.50 per month per $100,000 you owe. So this means if you have a million dollars of mortgage, that means your interest will increase by $125 a month. That's if you have a million dollar mortgage. And if you have a million dollar mortgage, you must have above average income to qualify for that, which means $125 extra a month is not gonna affect the bottom line. Again, watch the video with Brady, it's up there. Unless you're with Scotia, your monthly payment actually doesn't change. It's just the amount that you pay. It's the same. The principal and interest changes a little bit. That's all. Now, let me show you what the interest rate looks like if we go to 0.5% right here, right? It's $250 a month only, again, if your monthly mortgage is adjustable. And by the way, I use the million dollar mortgage because the rough average mortgage when the average price in GTA is about like close to $1.2 million now, that's what um, a mortgage would be after the 20% down payment. So for those of you who are telling me two interest rate hikes, which I suspect we're gonna get, right, will make the real estate market crash, you're essentially telling me this logic. All the homeowners that bought last year are going to be underwater because of $250 a month and they're going to have to sell. Yeah, think of that. Think that over, right? So you realize the buyers are stress tests also at 5.25% when they get the mortgage. This is also assuming that we even see two interest rate hikes this year, like back to back, right? My money's still on sub two and a half and I literally have money on this. But however, what an interest rate hike will allow the Bank of Canada to do is say, look, one came up, there's going to be more interest rates coming your way, right? This is basically just for guidance by the central bank or uh, Bank of Canada. And I'm guaranteed that's what they're planning to do. I can also guarantee you that when the first increase comes, there's such a company like, I told you so, and there's more coming. And that's definitely going to affect the buyers in the market. And in theory, it should remove some buyers, right? If I had to like, just put a number on it, I'd say somewhere between 10 to 20% of the buyer pool will be out of the market when that happens. And really not that much because even with 20% loss in like buyers on the higher side, I suspect we still don't have enough inventory like as of right now. And the ironic thing is last year I spoke to some buyers who, when they were talking about like the eight interest rate hikes, uh, Scotia came on, they kind of like freaked out and they rushed to go buy something and they wanted to lock in their interest rate, which is totally the exact opposite. And I'm not saying that's the norm, but that doesn't make any sense because, you know, it, Bank of Canada interest rate correlates to overnight rate, which correlates to variable mortgage. So when you lock something in, it's the five-year mortgage, which is tied to the bond, which has gone up. But that, that's kind of why uh, fixed rate mortgages are higher than the variable as of late. In, in a very short way, of kind of getting too technical on this, which is why I'm saying the logic makes no sense. But my point is this. I don't think an interest rate hike is going to impact the real estate market substantially. It's definitely going to slow it down. But is it going to make it like come crashing down? Everyone thinks that. Probably not, right? Just that's the logic. Now, if this is the type of real estate content you enjoy, help us spread the knowledge out there by smashing that like button and subscribing to the Prime Privacy channel because every week we make content like this that talks about the real estate market, which is real talk because we want to be transparent and honest so that when you're ready to make your move this year, whenever you guys have time, because you know, craziness always happens in January, you'll be like, you know what? Zen and his team, he sounded like what he was talking about. And you'll book a call to strategize your future using this link right here, right?
Back to what I was saying. Look, if we see four interest rate hikes, and I'm not saying it's going to happen, but let's just say you know we get four, where the variable mortgage from now is somewhere around like say two and a half to three percent. Yeah, I can see a much bigger slowdown. However, I don't see that happening. I'm thinking. This is more of a calculated bet for me that I won't see that interest rate hike for more than two times because if we see more than two, I'm pretty sure some different sector of the economy is gonna fall off the wheels, right? And we're gonna have to slow it down. So I'm essentially playing a big game of chicken with the Bank of Canada, and I've kind of been doing this for the last 10 years, and I'm definitely winning. I mean, they may not know what they're playing, but you know, from my perspective. <laughs> but to put this into perspective for you, two years ago, the pandemic, uh, your typical like you know big banks in Canada were giving a variable mortgage rate at 2.9%, and that was a good deal, right? So if we revert back to pre-pandemic numbers, cool, I'm fine with that, right? A B lender right now is like three-ish percent, 3.2, 3.5, right? So think about that. For me, anything sub 3% still makes so much sense. Plus, I keep talking about the fact that if you're borrowing, like the money you're borrowing like for mortgage or whatever, is less than the CP rate, uh, you're going to be ahead, right? And this whole CP8, you know, and I'm putting in quotations is because I think it's a false metric. Right now it's 4%. So if you're borrowing at three, if you get a four interest rate, still good. I don't see why you would not invest, right? This is why those who understand how interest rates impact the viability of real estate will know it's kind of irrelevant in the current state of the economy if you're doing the investments the proper way. Now, while I will say that most people aren't as educated as you who's watching this content, we'll probably see a fairly sizable slowdown at the four, per, uh, four interest rate hikes. And again, I have to be very clear about this. A slowdown means slowdown in transactions, less transactions, and prices stop accelerating so quickly. Are prices gonna come crashing down? No, will we see a slight reversal? 50-50, depending on the seasonality. And that's only if we have two to three months of inventory. If we have the same month of inventory we have right now, doubt it. Right? My point here is this, all this talk about interest rate is one of the only few kind of methodologies the Bank of Canada has to actually control the real estate market before it goes out of hand because they refuse to increase interest rates. Right? So all of this is just chatter. And as usual, I want to provide you with some logic, some math, some psychology to mentally prepare you for what's about to happen because it's going to happen. The question is, are you going to be able to make a rational decision when the inevitable interest rate hikes come this year? And it's going to happen, whether it's two, three, four, my money's on two, just be ready. This is up to you ultimately and why I say knowledge is power and I hope that this episode of Prime Property give you enough knowledge to combat the silliness of interest rates that's coming down the pipeline for you this year. It's happening like crazy. Get ready, all the media headlines. And I've been telling my clients like this for a long time. All this, even since all this chatter started in like October or so. Anything sub 3%, I'm still like this. Give me all the mortgage I got because I know it's getting inflated away in the next five years. That's it. So if that's you and you kind of have that same thought, uh, mind pro thought pro if you have the same thought process as we do, you can use the link right here to book a call to strategize how we're investing in real estate right now to offset these kind of interest rate increase. Until next time, your move, your future. See ya. Now that you're done watching this one, how about this one? Oh, you know what? This one's good too. Ooh, this one's really good. You know what? Just watch them both.